Hello, hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good uh, afternoon to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are going to learn how to classify knowledge high and low in SPSS. As you know, sometimes when we uh, conduct a scientific study, we are required to classify our knowledge high and low in SPSS. In this episode, I would like to explain with you how you can do the recode function to classify your knowledge between high and low in SPSS. Let us start. Selamat datang ke channel saya, Kerja Data Online. Please consider to subscribe, like and share all our videos. We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge. Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara percuma. Ladies and gentlemen, so the first step that you have to do is actually open up the data. The data is available in the description below. So you can download and you can practice it by your own. So the first step that you can uh, proceed is actually go to the transform, recode into a different variable. So in this case, I'm going to transform my uh, independent variables. I got four independent variables here, PE, EE, SI and FC as a predictors for my CA. So my CA is a DV, it's an outcome. So I want to classify the performance expectancy, uh, effort expectancy, social influence, and also facilitating condition into a categorical group. So how to do that? The first step is actually you go into the transform, as I mentioned to you before, and then you go into the record into different variables. Please bear in mind when you record into different variable, they do not disturb the original data. But if you choose the transform and record into the same variables, that means they will replace the original data set that you have. So as a good uh, practices, please just proceed with the record into different variables. Okay. That is the first step. So the second step, I would like to call upon the PE, the performance expectancy into my input variables. And then under here, the name, you put PE.cat. And then you click change button. After that, you go to this radio button. We call it as a old and new values. So all and new values will help you to classify this high and low knowledge level between the respondents. To do that, you must refer a certain, certain theoretical framework. In this study, for example, we set as 4 as the cutoff of the values. So let's say uh, for those who are ranges 4 and below will be categorized as group number 1. And then those who are recorded more than 4.01 will be recorded as group number 2. Which is, I'm going to say after this, number 1 is a low group and number 2 is the high group. After that, I'm going to click continue and I'm going to click OK. Oops, done because I'm going to use the syntax because the syntax will make our life much more easier. By um, clicking the peace button instead of OK just now, you are indirectly produce a syntax that are very useful for us to create another function. So you can just copy all this code over here, the syntax code that been generated by the SPSS and then you can paste accordingly. As you know, we got how many variables? We got four. So we are going to uh, design this thing. So let me make it a little bigger so that you can see it accordingly. All right. So we got here as PE. We got here as uh, um, EE and so on. All that is being copied accordingly. So I'm going to change this one as EE. So we are going to call upon the EE, the PE, the SI, and also last but not least is the FC. So I'm going also to rename it into a different name. In this case, ee.cat. This one will be si.cat. And the last one but not least is fc.cat. By doing this, you can classify it automatically with a few seconds. Then all the data will be changed accordingly by clicking this button or control R. So automatically, the SPSS are going to create a group for you here. Then you can rename your group accordingly as one, we call it as low, and then number two will be categorized as high. As simple as that. 
and you can just proceed to copy everything and then paste to your another factor so with another videos i'm going to share with you soon how you can automatically use syntax also to rename all of these things with that i hope that you can enjoy and understand this process if you don't believe me this is the simplest process that you can done and you can further analyze it uh, in a quick in a quicker manner instead uh, in fact, I also can produce another analysis using the syntax over here and I can generate it automatically and the high and low is already being classified over here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.